Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. I'm your host, Cardinal Phoenix, here as always. Bring you guys some more Magic the Gathering Arena content. Today, we're going to be trying to push from Diamond 4 all the way to Diamond 2. Maybe all the way to Mythic, it depends how long the video goes. However, we did just have a huge update on Magic Arena preparing for Thrones of Eldraine. The upcoming set releasing everywhere August 8th. And... Here we have a bunch of stuff I've never seen before on Arena, uh, including the pre-order Agatha Pack Bundle, the pre-order Hydra Play Bundle, and the Area Pass Bundle. So if you look here, uh, I guess it doesn't really tell you what the different things are. Oh, here it is, right, okay. So, pre-order Wilds of Eldraine today and receive the following items on September 5th, 2023. So, it does look like you get access to them a little bit early. You get 50 Wilds of Eldraine packs, 5 Golden packs, 1 Agatha to the, of the Vile Cauldron card. Okay. An Agatha of the Vile Cauldron card style. And when purchased, you will immediately receive the Agatha Soul Cauldron Sleeve. Uh, this is for $50. You get all this. For the pre-order Hilda Play Bundle, you'll get two player draft tokens, one sealed token, five play-in points, one Hilda of the Icy Crown card, and a Hilda of the Icy Crown card style. And so you get like this pet, I guess. You get the play-in points, which is incredible. And you have the passables, like literally just the uh, season pass. You get the Wilds of Eldraine set mastery pass, sure. You get one area of the Charmed Apple card, and area of the Charmed Apple card style, sure. Okay, cool. Uh, of course, you have these things going on here. Um, it looks like you can still get them. Okay, no, so they did get rid of the, uh, okay, well that sucks, they did get rid of the ability to purchase the stuff that was ending the sale. Apparently ending the sale just straight up means ending its availability to be bought in the store, which is weird because usually it says leaving soon, like this does, whereas it just simply said sale ends, uh, within like, you know, 12 hours, but anyway, um... So, if we go over here to my profile, we can see that I'm currently Diamond Tier 4. I just got here literally last night. Um, I don't really play Limited just because I'm not good at it yet. But anyway, um, moving on, um, I am going to go ahead and just play some games and see where that takes me. Um, let me see what my... Uh, see what my these are um Sauron let's go I like the uh I like the little silly chibi kind of like num, 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 you know anyway um yeah so let's go ahead and queue up just see what happens we get to uh, attack up 45 creatures for 750 gold, and we get 500 gold for killing 15 of our opponent's creatures. So let's uh, go up and start playing. I should say you of course play best of three, uh, just because I believe that it's better uh, in terms of determining uh, who is objectively going to win a matchup between two decks, as well as uh, it gives up your opponent and by extension you a more fair chance to determine sort of like what's going on behind the construction the method of the deck's construction the play patterns stuff like that um let's go ahead and see it So far, I've seen a lot of green-white humans, mono-white aggro, I guess it's called white weenie still. Um, 
in green white symbols in uh, the lower ranks. Oh, here we go. Here's our opponent. So that's the uh, summer thing. That's cool. Uh, we'll be on the play first. It actually helps a lot more. Um, I want to keep this hand, but I'm not sure I can because it only has two lands. We should be able to draw into a source of blue, and that will really start getting us somewhere. But for now, I am going to go ahead and keep this, uh, just because it has the Elish Norn Seal from Resistance. As a sea chart, the Sunfall, the Voidrend, two of our top three colors, kill it to the opponent. Good luck, a fun opponent, best of luck. I really like the Borders of Land that they sold. Hopefully they did that again at some point. And just in general, they did a really good job. Putting, putting a good dual colored lands. Like the Tri Lands from Kenna. And the dual colored lands that they put in with Phyrexia Older One. And then also the course of uh, Innistrad lands. Uh, it's just really cool. Like Darslick, Darslick Shores, the untapped uh, control to our last land. Of course, we're going to try to control to our more lands. Really cool. Didn't end up getting a card there. And of course, probably the Thraven being what it is. Uh, I have seen both. White on a white toxic and green white toxic. Green white toxic being better than two. All this, all the decks I mentioned previously are for super low ranks, like platinum below. But I have seen them. Uh, here I'm going to go ahead and play the crumbles and start to keep that blocker up. I'm not sure necessarily that. I'm sure that this isn't necessarily going to stick around, but it's broke the throat. Okay, you didn't make it. Sure. This play is Shattered Sanctum. And... I'm honestly thinking about Void Rending to the Thalia here. Oh, but that's why you're doing that, huh? Okay, that's smart. Alright, so, um... Alright, in that case, I will go ahead and pass. I, w I should say I do really enjoy uh, standard formats where they do have a bunch of different uh, mana bases and lands that support multicolored decks. Like, we have a very popular deck, both on paper standard and arena standard, a uh, four color ramp, which is a very popular deck, and it's very good as well. Um, and I just, I think it's awesome that we are consistently getting formats where Wizards will constantly support four, three and four color mana bases. Um, take four, go to ten. He'll go to 24. Is it another creature? Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and destroy it. And then we'll go ahead and destroy it. There's all the stuff like it. Actually, I think we'll cost with it. Have a second one anyway. That's uh, you know, it's gonna put things in there. Go ahead and cast shield of the apocalypse. Um, we'll go ahead and go down. 
this doesn't seem like a very kind of you know prolonged let's play the long game kind of deck so we'll take out all four copies of witness the future play three copies of Raska's fall uh i'm thinking maybe a copy of impede momentum would be okay um I should just go down and bring the ending and put in two ossification, and it will be done. I'm not quite sure this is necessarily one of those times where we want to put in we're gonna go balls to the wall with board wipes kind of thing. We'll play first again, this is absolutely good. Say hello to our opponent, best of luck in game two, not the date you needed it in game one. so we can board in the scroll while he's tapped out. Actually, we might as well just use it on the call the other day. I mean, like, am I crazy? Like, it, that just seems like the better play. That is a punt. Yes, it is Phyrexian White. You don't actually have to pay mana to, uh... Yeah. Oh, of course a Phyrexian card does. Stupid enough to think it was, uh, just a white sword. I don't know it's Phyrexian White. It was... I have no excuse. It was just a generically stupid play on my part. I... I... I'm, I'm embarrassed at it actually like think about that for a second. I just I don't know. I got I got happy. I was like knives <laughs> three times it's it's not is that draw three cards? It is, yeah actually play that card. Wow. Like, I knew, I knew where Fiend existed. I knew what it did. I just didn't think it would, like, actually, like, <laughs> like, draw three cards. Like, actually, like, really, really good. Okay. Um. I 
I like that they intentionally, like, sort of soft. Uh, White well, Craven Devil nerfed it basically by making it a 1 4 because it can increase itself uh, by empowered just so easily. You know? Plus, it kind of looks like Osiris, I believe was his name. Not Osiris, um. What's his name? Sphinx. Uh, the Sphinx from. The Andrew Sphinx from Legend of Ox Machina. Anyway, uh, we are going to seal from existence the. Because it cannot protect itself. It says another target creature. See, see, I, I know the card. I, I, it's not a matter of me reading. I just, well, I guess it, in that case it was. But anyway, uh, we'll get rid of it. What is this? Disturb. Whenever one or more creature cards are put into a graveyard, Okay, so we do have Scroll. Uh, any land source gets us Elish Norn. That's really all we can hope for right now. I wasn't trying to worry, I was just trying to make sure, like, am I, am I the asshole, or, like, you playing a little slow, buddy? Like, well, especially for someone who's up a game, like, you're, you're taking this way too cautious, like, I mean, I appreciate it, like, thank you, but, you know, I'm not that big of a threat, you know. There's nothing I can really do here. Alright, good game opponent. Yeah, it sucks, but I just... I really want to see that. So... It sucks, but that's, that's where we're at. Go ahead and go again. Uh, this is gonna seem incredibly rude. I am so sorry, but I I am gonna have to like eat a pop tart uh, because I I don't have time like actually uh, like go get real food. But also I want to play arena. I just want to play the best card. I wouldn't even say I would call it just the best card game. I think it's. It is either the first or second best game in the world. Wish to the Coast makes both the first and second best game. 
in the world. <laughs> I mean, so excuse me, but. I probably can, but I, I can't think of a way to do it right now. Okay. Um. Yep. I guess I do need to add the extra two lands. You'd think 22 lands is not that much less than 24, but apparently... Even if you're putting in literally the extra two copies of uh, Mirix. Uh, I mean, not Mirix. Uh, the extra two uh, brand new names if you want for the eight counter spells. I don't know. I don't actually remember what my last two lands thoughts were. But anyway, I, I, I did take out two lands to go down to 22 so I could put in. Hello, opponent. Good luck on that. And I hope that just means that you watched or <laughs> uh, you were playing during World Championship 26. Not that you were actually a participant of Magic Gathering World Championship 26. Uh, that is that is kind of sick. I think it's out of tap. I don't mean that aggressively. But I always like to do it. It's like kind of like I, it's just a way of saying. Gonna be a little. No, I'll just take it down. I'm trying to play. I'm trying to play is a good, good job here. I know, like, obviously, you never go below 24 lands. Like, you say, like, you don't go below 17 lands in a 40 card deck, right? But. Did you see the board? Really? This big Right?
<laughs> that is spicy. That is spicy. Am I that bad of a player for choosing to take out two lands to put in a second shielded and a second hellish door? I'm pretty sure that's what I actually replaced those two lands with. <laughs> like, like, am I that bad of a player for doing that? Because, like, I feel like that should be, like, Find something you can like. I think you should maybe be able to get away with that, you know? Like, if it costs you a game or once in a while, sure, but. The last three straight games, you know, they're both, man, they're both games against the last opponent. Oh, oh, there goes Voidren. The grass was fall, I guess. Probably. Voidren? Yeah, I was gonna say, you probably care about the Voidren that badly. Because, like... Yeah. If I do not get a land on my next turn, on my draw step, literally on my draw step, I am conceding the game, I'm going to my deck editor. better never have a land problem ever again. I better never have a land problem in my life. One bring the ending, one witness the future. Let's play two more lands. We'll play a Dark Slick Shores because I have it. And we'll play a Sea Chrome Coast. Actually, you know what? No. No, no, no. I was thinking that's. You no. Know, yeah. Let's just put in two more basics. Um... Yeah. Yeah. The land suggester is really cool.
this is just 30 minutes of straight up failure. Where did... I'm not crazy, right? Like, I had my phone. Blocking my submit zero. Um, I'm having to. <laughs> the, ca the face cam is blocking my object. <laughs> I know it looks stupid. I can't see the options. I was randomly trying to guess where it's at. I can't. I couldn't time out. I can't. I can't see it. I can't. <laughs> He's gonna think of me talking. I can't see the <laughs> I can't see the options. <laughs> the face keeps blocking me. Now let me try something. I think I'm joking. I literally cannot see the submit zero button. I swear I'm not just being here. I literally cannot see it. Because my face cam is blocking it just because of where it is on this screen. I didn't choose the put it here. That's just where it, it's where it shows the put itself. Maybe if I play it. Okay, thank God. Um... 
for a blue source or for you to do something for us, buddy. Uh, I'll discard a... Uh, memory damage. Because 
see this right now. Get the single one of the test too. Let's see what we're gonna do with the Once again, the face cam is in the way. Once again, the face cam. tell you uh this just this wasn't it all right anyway with that being said i've been your host card phoenix honey see you guys next time have a good one